What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and welcome back to another weekly watch list video. In this series, my goal is to share with you the stocks that are at the top of my watch list going into the week ahead, as well as how I feel about the market conditions. So if you get any value out of that, remember to click that like and subscribe button and let's jump right in. Okay, so just like always, I wanna start with the indices because that gives us a good idea of how the broad market is doing. And for us, we're gonna look at the NASDAQ, the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. And we're gonna start with the NASDAQ. This is what the chart looks like. And as you can see, we fell through a very key level here right at 14,200. You can see it acted as a key level of resistance and then a key level of support. And now we have come all the way down to this next level of resistance right here around 13,000. We pretty much traded sideways for the week and it's not looking super great for the NASDAQ, but it is nice to see that we're not continuing to fall. We have traded sideways for quite literally about five days now. So we will see if that holds up going into the week ahead or if we fall below 13,000, that would be a pretty bearish sign. Now, when we look at the S&P 500, it actually looks fairly similar. We fell below where we broke through our basically nice long key trend line right here. And we have come down to a key level of support right around 4,300. And again, we traded sideways for the week. And when you look at the Dow Jones, it was a very similar pattern. We're basically trading along a key level of support again. We did have a great Friday in the Dow Jones. So things are looking up as we closed out the last week, but still we are trading with like a five to 10% pullback on the Dow Jones right here. And maybe about a 10 to 12% pullback on the NASDAQ, depending on how you look at it. So not great from the indices. We are sitting at a key level of support. If that holds up going into the week ahead and we start to see a bounce, that's gonna be when I plan to buy back in. If we fall below this key level of support though, it's not looking very good. Now, when it comes to Bitcoin, this hasn't been looking very good for a little while now. You can see we hit our highs right around 67, 68,000 right here at the beginning of November. And since then, we have only gone in one direction and we kind of just keep stair stepping down. And so we dropped all the way down to 34, 35,000 right here. Over the last four or five days, we've made a small recovery back to 38,000, but we fell through the one area where I thought we were gonna find some support at 40,000. So things still aren't looking good for Bitcoin. I think Think there's a chance that we come back down to 30,000 in here, but we'll have to see how things go. I am waiting for us to break this trend line before I make any more moves in Bitcoin. I am still mining Bitcoin though with my miners. If you want to see those videos, check out the links down below, but that's just kind of small money compared to what I'm investing with. Now, here is what COVID looks like in the USA. This is daily new cases. And as you can see over the holidays here, Omicron really got to us. The case numbers absolutely skyrocketed, but over the last two weeks, it appears that they have started to come down, possibly because Omicron is subsiding or possibly because people just aren't getting tested and they're tired of it. Who knows, we'll see what happens though, but it feels like Hopefully we're on the backside of COVID. Now, when it comes to earnings, we've got a massive week ahead. We got a lot of companies reporting, starting with AMD, PayPal, UPS, a bunch of companies here on Tuesday. We're gonna take a look at NXP. This is a semiconductor company focused on the automotive industry. We're gonna talk about them in this video, so make sure you stay tuned. We've also got Facebook reporting on Wednesday. We got Amazon reporting on Thursday. We got Google reporting on Tuesday. We've got a lot of major tech companies and a lot of big players all reporting this week. Now, here's my plan for the week. As you saw in last week's update, I was holding a lot of cash. I am still holding a lot of cash and I plan to buy back in slowly if these key levels that I just pointed out to you if they hold strong and we start to see some bullish action, that's when I plan to buy back into it. I posted in my Discord chat right here the companies that I wanna buy back into. So the tier one companies right here, Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, these are just some of the best companies in the world. Apple proved that with their reports or their financials that just came out last week. The tier two companies here are companies that are absolutely great and fantastic. They're not quite as good as the tier one companies, but I would have no problem investing my money into these four companies right here. So I'm looking for buying opportunities in these stocks right here. And the tier three companies here are maybe not profitable yet, or maybe just kind of getting up and running, but I think they have massive, massive potential. So these are my kind of riskier growth stocks that I want to invest into and all of these stocks on the bottom here have just been absolutely slaughtered so I posted 
posted this in my Discord chat. These are the stocks that I plan to buy back into first, and then a couple of other stocks that based on technical analysis are doing really well, which I wanna tell you about in this video. But if you're interested in seeing when I buy back into these stocks, definitely consider signing up for my Discord chat. It's $5 per month. You get to see all of my trades, all of my analysis, and you get access to the entire community of like 800 traders and investors. So definitely check it out. Now, let's dive into some of the stocks that I am possibly investing into this week. So keep in mind here, I'm building a watch list and then I plan to basically buy into the best opportunity on this watch list. So I'm gonna show you six different stocks here and I'm probably gonna hopefully buy into one to three of them. It probably won't be all six. So keep that in mind here. But the one that I really, really like is a tier one company. This is Apple and the reason I like them, they saw a pretty dramatic pullback from 182 all the way down to 160 here. But they came out with an absolute banger of a financial report last week. The company is doing extremely well, I want to say they just put up record revenue of 123 or 125 billion dollars in the quarter, which is absolutely just insane. And Apple is doing better than they have ever been doing, and so I really like Apple stock. And long term, this is just a company that you need to have in your portfolio. It makes up like 40 percent of Warren Buffett's portfolio, so you just can't go wrong with Apple. I plan to buy back into Apple here very, very shortly if we see this continue on Monday, Tuesday. Now, the next company here is Facebook. Facebook is trading at a very, very crucial level right here around 300, currently at 301.71. And if you notice right here, back in August and maybe October here of 2021, this actually of 2020, which is crazy, they got rejected at $300 several times in here. It broke through 300, it retested 300 twice right here in April of 2021 ran up to 384 and now it has double tested 300 just over the last sort of four to six months right here. And so Facebook at 300, if we see the bounce off 300, I'm putting a stop loss at 280 and I am riding this back up to at least 340, 350. We'll see how it goes, but Facebook, I really, really like. Okay, now for most of my trading, I use Quest Trade and the charts look like this with the black background. However, Quest Trade is doing maintenance right now as I'm filming this watch list and so I'm switching my charts over to stockcharts.com. This is where I started doing my technical analysis and I just keep the membership because I like the platform. But if you're interested in trading, investing, or day trading, scalping even, whatever you wanna do, check out Quest Trade. There's a link down below for $50 in free commissions when you open an account so you can try it out completely free. Now, here is AMD. AMD is a micro device company basically in that kind of computer niche with Nvidia. And I really, really like this stock right now because it has come back down to a super key level of support right at 100 here. It's down from 165 back down to 100 here. And if we see a bounce off 100, you put a stop loss at 80 or $90 right here. And you're gonna do extremely well on a swing trade with AMD. That's what I am watching for come Monday, Tuesday, but we have to see a rebound in the technology industry in order to enter this trade. Now the next company here is Arcit Quantum. This is probably a stock you might not have heard about there in the quantum computing space. I made a series over Christmas where I reviewed four different quantum computing stocks and compared them all. Arcit Quantum was the stock that I liked the best and it has actually also sold off basically the most since I made that review and that is a good thing for me because I don't own shares yet. I'm looking to buy shares and as of right now we have a double bottom at $15. So if we start to see a bounce off $15 here, a little bit of positive momentum and some volume right here, this is what I'm really looking for is volume, then I think this stock is an absolute basically diamond in the rough right now. They're young, they have a lot of contracts that are signed, they have a lot of revenue to bring in, they have great potential, and what they're doing is absolutely amazing, but I don't think anybody knows about them. They're not getting any attention right now, and they still have a little bit to prove, but if they can execute, I absolutely love this stock, and I'm looking forward to taking a position. The next one here is NXP Semiconductors. This is a company I'm still doing some research on, but they are in the semiconductor space focused on automotives. And as you know, electric vehicles are about to take over the world. And so I think this company is well positioned to be a strong provider of semiconductors for that industry. And they are also doing very, very well from a financial perspective over the last few years. They are coming down to a key support level right here around 180. We saw the stock test that level on Friday. I expect it to probably test it on Monday, Tuesday. We've got a little bit of room here, possibly a little consolidation. We'll see what happens here. But if we start moving back up towards 195, 200, that is gonna be confirmation of a bounce off of 180 and a great entry point to get into NXP Semi. I think there's a great opportunity 
in this industry and you really can't go wrong with the semiconductor industry if you're in it for the long term. Now the last company here is Airbnb. I pulled this up and this is the chart since their IPO and it's really interesting. The IPO at around 140, 150 right here ran up to 210, came back down to 130, ran up to 210. Now we're trading at 142. If we test the 130 level again and bounce off 130, that is a very, very easy bounce trade. Set your stop loss at 120, 125 here, and you're gonna do extremely well on it. Because if this trade doesn't work out here, you lose maybe five to 10%, but if it does work out here, you make a nice, easy 30 to 40%. And those odds are exactly what we were looking for as traders and investors. Now, here's the quick summary of what I feel about the market. Number one, we are either going to see some good support step in at these levels and people are gonna to start to buy up these stocks that just went on sale, or there's gonna be more fear in the market. People are gonna have more concerns about interest rates, about inflation, and about basically everything else going on. And we're gonna see another step down in the sell-off and probably another level of consolidation. And that is probably where I'm gonna buy my entry if we don't see that support stepping in this week. So I'm really, really interested to see what happens here. Like I said, I'm holding a lot of cash, so I'm chomping at the bit to deploy it, but I'm trying to be patient, I'm trying to be responsible, and I'm trying to be prepared for both situations. So that's really what's going through my mind, and I think you should you should definitely have a plan for if the market goes up or if the market goes down, that's the best way to make money is to have a plan for both options. Now, if you're interested in building that plan and learning how to formulate that plan, then definitely check out my stock market fundamentals course. It is completely free when you use the link in the description to this video. It's on Skillshare. When you sign up with that link, you get two weeks of free access to the entire platform where you can take my 10 hour course and there's over 11,000 students that have already gone through it. There's 380 reviews for you to take a read through and I promise you it'll be the best resource that you can find online. It is completely free, the link is down below and everything else you need is there. Tons of links, tons of resources. The Discord chat is down there as well as well as $50 request trade and $25 in completely free crypto if you sign up with Newton on that link. So definitely check out all of those and I wish you the best. Good luck trading, good luck investing this week and we'll talk to you soon. Leave a comment down below if there's any stocks you want me to check out and we'll see you for the same video next week.